it's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tool, and it's a bottle of their Fuck Art Let's Dance. It's a funky red wine barrel aged triple. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap, white bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. I'm looking forward to this one. Red wine barrel aged beer. It's a one to two finger white head. It's a golden amber colored ale. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, you get that red wine in abundance. It smells really good. You also get the triple quality from with that Belgium yeast and that Belgium candied sugar that's used. It smells quite dry. Yeah, it's almost like smelling an oaky kind of Rioja maybe. Red wine Rioja. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh, that's different. Wow, incredibly different. And this is the fascinating thing about beer, and this is the reason why I drink beer, and I'm so kind of passionate about beer, is that after 2,700 beers, nearly, you know, we're a few hundred away from 3,000 beers on the channel, I'm trying something new today that I've never tried before on the channel, or, or in my life, for that matter. And I think it's absolutely fantastic that we're still finding new stars in beer. Beer is the most flexible alcoholic drink in the world in terms of flavour, different styles. It's brilliant. Cheers to beer. It's a red wine, then it's a triple, then it's a red wine, then it's a triple. The flavours bounce back and forth. It's not a consistent flavour. It's not like you can absolutely say, right, yes, it's a triple, because the red wine flavours come through on the other side, and it's quite mesmerising, really. It's quite a, a really interesting brew, as I mentioned earlier. But yeah, that, that red wine quality, that oaky red wine quality is fantastic. That kind of sugary Belgium candied sugar that they add to the beer just adds to that triple quality and at 8.3% ABV it's a really drinkable beer nice levels of carbonation help to kind of push that 8.3% ABV beer around the inside of the mouth to produce some lovely kind of flavours you've got your palate has got kind of taste buds down the back of your neck or on the inside of your cheeks the top of your mouth and that carbonation kind of springs the beer everywhere and it and it helps to kind of bring out all of the flavors in the beer it's a little bit floral as well I'm picking up some floral qualities in the beer it's rather nice but I want to move on to the label it's a really good beer but for me, you can call me a prude if you want to, uh, but I, I don't see the need of bad language. I just don't understand the reason why they put bad language on the front of the, the label. Um, I'm, I'm a father, I have uh, three young children, and I, and I left the beer out on the side by... Uh, when I bought them, I always come into the kitchen with my beers, and I put them on the counters, and my daughter was reading the label, and I was like... Ah! She, she's only like seven years old and, and she shouldn't see, be seeing language like that. Perhaps it was my failure to put the beer in the cupboard. Perhaps it's my own fault. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I just kind of... I just wonder why, you know, it, it, it could have maybe called it something else. I don't... I don't 
it's almost like they're standing back and they're going, hey, over here, this crowded craft beer world. Um, we're over here, we're from Denmark, come and see us. It's that type of loud screaming, dare I say it, brew doggy way. Um, brew dog have never brought produce a beer with bad language. It's just, you know, they do other things like produce a, the world's strongest beer at 45%. Uh, and then they produce, then they drive tanks down down roads, and and they do it in other ways to kind of say over here, over here. Um, I don't blame people for that. I don't blame people for for shouting their product in a busy market. It's just bad language. Arrgh. I think they could have maybe called the beer something else. But again, call me a prude if you like. Rating for this fuck art. Let's dance. Funky red wine barrel aged triple. The beer is fantastic. It really is a fantastic brew. It's a 9 out of 10. It really is a good quality beer. 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. And cheers.